very good Friday. Our scripture, Matthew 5, verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Heading the very first B attitude. Bearing in mind the object of our Savior's discourse, which was to describe, to describe the saved and not to declare the plan of salvation, we now come to consider the first of the B attitudes. Firstly, a ladder, if it is to be of any use, must have its first step near the ground, or feeble climbers will never be able to mount. It would have been a grievous discouragement to struggling faith if the first blessing had been given to the pure in heart. Our divine instruction begins at the beginning with a very ABC of experience and so enables the babes in grace to learn of Him. Now, by the inscription, blessed are the poor in spirit, thousands are encouraged to attempt the heavenly way. Well, and it is worthy to note that this gospel blessing reaches down to the exact spot where the law leaves us when it is done us the very best within its power or design. The utmost the law can accomplish for our fallen humanity is to lay bare our spiritual poverty and convince us of it, but it cannot by any means or any possibility enrich a man. Secondly, it is to this point that Jesus descends. His full line of blessing comes up to the verge of destruction, rescues the lost, and enriches the poor. The gospel is as full as it is free. The first B attitude, though thus placed at a suitably low point, where it may be reached by those who are in the early stages of grace, is, however, nonetheless rich in blessings. Application. The cause for placing this beatitude first is found in the fact that it is first as a matter of experience. It is essential to the succeeding characters, underlines each one of them, and is the soil in which alone they can be produced. No man can ever mourn before God until he is poor in spirit, neither does he become meek towards others till he has a humble view of himself. Hunger and thirsting after righteousness are not possible to those who have a high view of their own excellence. I pray, O oh, glorious Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful discourse, but help me to understand it. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.